with atypical chest pain. Look here to the screen, there is no heart. And look to look at the echocardiography transducer here at the left side. And there is no heart here. What is the problem? This is the ECG. This the ECG. There is inverted of lead one, the QRS in inverted with negative T wave, and the AVL inverted with negative T wave and low progression. See here, there is no R RWF in V1 and decreased, decreased, and then absent, opposite to the normal. What is the problem here? No heart present in left side of the chest, despite the transducer, transducer is putting here, and there is no heart in the screen. The ECG is abnormal. There is R wave, positive R wave in V1, positive R wave in V1. Look at ECG and no any activities in V6 with right axis deviation, inverted QRS in lead AVL and lead 1. Here the we have two possibilities, either lead transfer conduction or dextrocardia, but the transfer or abnormal connection of the electrodes. Why this is reversed the progression of the chest lead? Because there is a dextrocardia, dextrocardia. The heart is present here in the right lock here. Now, the probe is in the right side of the chest. Look to the movement of the heart. Yes, this is the middle part, this is the lateral, and this is the septum. The heart is looking normally here. And this is the diastolic function. The normal wall contraction, normal wall, wall thickness. Look, this is the apex. This is the apex of the heart. But because its, its position is an abnormal in the chest, the picture is so difficult to be taken in this position because we are not used to use this side. This is the ECG here. You are wondering why this ECG. This is ECG is registering from the right side. From the right side. Look here. It is reversed. In lead one and AVL. Opposite to this. Opposite to this. And normal progression of R wave. Look. Small in V1 and big in V6 because this ECG is repeated again, but from the right side, from the right side of the chest. Thank you for your listening.